Hello everyone, welcome to the Martin Magic. My name is Dr. Madhumal or you can call me as Martin. So today I'm going to talk about the USC or some people call as US key. So what is the USC or US key? So USC is like a, so it's an acronym for United States Clinical Experience. So whenever you apply for residency, like after getting done with the steps, like step one and step two, maybe step three, you need at least three a letter of recommendations from university hospital or maybe like any clinic or whatever you know but you should have the good letter of recommendations i would say letter of recommendations are very important for for your cv to apply for internal medicine residency or whatever so so i would say after your course usc is the most important so the recommend like the requirement is like at, le at least you should have the three letter of recommendation from united states or one or maybe two from you know hospital like your home country hospital so so I always talk about the strategy, you know, the strategy is something that he, you know, can differentiate some like good candidate or maybe the excellent candidate from the other. So I would say like when you can think about the US key. So after getting done with the USMB step one, sure, right away you should, you know, start a step to CK and along with it, you should work on your CV. And the CV would be like your research or US key. So people are you know, applying from the developing country. They don't have, you know, the experience of research. So what they can do is like they can write a case report or case series or maybe, the, you know, the small publication or you can write a one chapter in your book maybe like the first area there are there any any speciality where you are applying like maybe the neurology so you should have you know at least in your cv cv related to the research and so like so my you know the point of talking today is the usc so i'm gonna only talk about the usc now so usc like after getting done with this step one you should you know think about the usc so after you know getting done with this step one you should start your step to ck as well as you know look for usc how you can look for usc so actively you should ask your friend this is the best way to you know get a uh, the position of USK are, you know, the opportunity for United States clinical experience or you can, you know, search on the social media. I would say, you know, the asking from your friend is the best, you know, the source where you can get, you know, the opportunity for United States experience, like the observership or the extension or whatever. And then the second most important, you know, the source where from you can get the opportunity is the social media so most of the people don't know like how to use the social media i will talk about that one in the next video but i would briefly say like they use your social media for you know for to to strengthen your cv like you know you should you know make account on linkedin you should make your account on the twitter or, or you can you know use the facebook as well the instagram as well but you know facebook and instagram has a lot of uh, Distract, distraction so i would recommend you you should have an account on the linkedin as well as the um twitter so on this like the social media platform you can write like i'm actively looking for this and this like you are actively looking for usc like the United States Clinical Observership or Externship or maybe elective if you are an undergraduate. So use this as social media. So this is all about the strategy. Like after like getting done with the step one, you should write away and look for the USC. The people you know do mistakes like they do this like the the first they think about the step to CK like they they you know the focus actually they're looking after. You know, after getting done with the step to CK. So this is the biggest mistake you people do. So I would highly recommend you, you should you know, actively looking for these experience or research position right after the step one, because that will help, you know, through you, because you have time, you know, from, you know, because you should take like one year, maybe 10 months per step to CK. So I would say you should, you know, you stand your CV with that period of time as well, like looking for the research or US keys. So, you know, it's, you have enough amount of time to look for the US. 
I cannot emphasize more on that. Don't procrastinate about, you know, getting USC or making count on your social media to use the social media to get, you know, these opportunities. So the LinkedIn is the best resources someone could have. So let's talk about the USC. So USC could be and the elector, could be observership or could be the externship. So elector is something like uh, you do before the, you know, before getting done with the um like that the mbbs are before graduation so elective something like someone took before the graduation so and the observers and the, the difference between the observership and the elective is like observership is just you know you observe the patient like how you know the your senior doctor treat them but the externship you do hands-on like directly you do the take the history from the patient and you do the physical exam of the patient and then you present all the you know, all the scenario or you know the case to the to your senior doctor. So this is the difference between the observership, lecture and the externship. So like like if you know assess like which which one is better, you know, than the other like the elective observership or uh, the externship. I would say elective is you know the 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 most important or the or have the more advantages compared to the observership and elector, like the externship. So I would say like in the descending order, elective at the top and then the externship in the observership. Because you know that your interviewer or your program director always look at your CV, like whether you have the elective or the externship or the observership. So the elective is, you know, have more advantages compared to the externship and the externship have more advantages compared to the observership. So like, how you so now said so like where and like which hospital is providing the elective observership are there and the externship i cannot tell you about like the specific emails and like which is you know prohibited but i briefly you know, talk about like where you can get the opportunity like the emails are you know, like where you should apply so far like everywhere like in the base tool where you can use, you know, the hospital website is the Residency Explorer. So just write Residency Explorer on the Google and open that page and make an account of account like your account on the Residency Explorer. So on the Residency Explorer, what you can do is like search the specific like the hospital name. Like this is let's say this is the Cleveland Clinic. So just write the name of that hospital in the Residency Explorer, the tube. And you can run and search like the Cleveland clinics. You can get, you know, the, the specific website of that hospital. So just open that website and search for, you know, the observership or electives or you can, like whatever you are looking for, elective observership or the externship. And then you can find uh, uh, the, the coordinator of, you know, the internal medicines or you can find the you know the whatever speciality you are looking for you just write the coordinator you can search in the tube like the tape like the coordinator so you'll find you know the coordinator and then every hospital have you know the specific kind of coordinator for pertinent field like you know the uh, like the extension of observership like every coordinator is dealing with you know the different subfield as of speciality so these are the hospital who are, they are providing the elective opportunity for undergraduate pupils like the Cleveland Clinic. This one is the base, I would say, the, the elective opportunity for undergraduate pupils. And the University of Texas, Southwestern, the Case Western, the Wine State, the Memorial Solon Catherine, the University of Texas Health Science, the State University of New York, the State, like the University of Texas Medical School, Mayo Clinic, the Mayo Clinic and the Cleveland is, I would say, the best opportunity for the electives and then the virginia and the commonwealth university school this one is the uh, this one is a good as well university of uh, cincinnati college of medical school ohio and this is for the other options and these are the some of the hospitals that require step one or step not like the mount Sena, you know step north carolina north carolina is the best one you can apply through your hospital or maybe your university. But some of them require, you know, that some of the English tests like the TOEFL or maybe some maybe the OET, but most of them only require the TOEFL. But I would say 90% don't need any English test. And then you have the extension. So we talk about the electives, like where and like what are the importance of elective and where should 
where you can get the lecture opportunity. Okay. Then we have the externship and observation. These both are for someone who are on you know, the post graduations, like after graduations, more people apply for externship or observership. I would say externship later is better than the observership because externship is kind of is kind of hints on opportunity as compared to the observership, which in which you just observe the patient, nothing else. So that's why the externship opportunity is a better one. But observership is good, like it's also good if someone have you know the so observation could be inpatient or could be outpatient. So inpatient like in the hospital. So observership in the hospital is this is this is a very good not compared to the externship, but so not if someone have the observership then look for the inpatient like in the hospital observership as compared to like uh, if you only have the you know, outpatient 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 means if you have the observership letter from the clinic head. So let's talk about the externship. So I cannot tell you like the email or say to doctor who's providing the externship, but I would briefly talk about like the Houston Methodist is the, the hospital where some of the doctors are providing the Houston Methodist letter. Like they, they offer externship. They also give the letter head hospital with the, the externship. So the most of the clinic in the in the Houston, Texas, they are also offering the extension, but you have to look for. But HVI Michigan is also the good extension. They need at least three month agreement to provide extension, but this one is also good. Most of the like my good friend have did the rotation there in the HVI Michigan and the Titus Medical Center. So I would say HVI Michigan and the Titus Medical Center are the good opportunity for the externship. Like if you are looking for the free externship, this is like the very good opportunity. Like if someone was looking for the free externship. So look for HVI so how you can contact them. Just like the just write on the yeah, that should be a Michigan externship on the Google. You will find you know the opportunity, maybe the email address or maybe the coordinator name. From them, you can contact me, or you can ask your friend. You know, friend always you know the is always have you know the good good resources someone can have because they have the email address like the the friend who already did the extension because they have the email address and. The, information of coordinate coordinator that will guide you better than the someone so look for in you know, the frames opportunity if not then look on the like search and the google or maybe on the linkedin or maybe on the twitters or oh, this is the externship and then i think we have the observership so observership is like could be inpatient and outpatient so uh, I always, you know, prefer inpatient observation. So always look for the extension. If not, then look for the inpatient observation. So these are the, some hospitals currently are providing the observership. Currently means like the 2022 and 23. So they are accepting the observership. But, you know, they're getting observership, like inpatient observership in the hospital. You need some connections. What does that mean? It means like if we, you should have someone in the hospital who vouch for you to, you know, get an observership because, you know, they are already full and they don't accept, you know, the new new observer because, you know, they also have their, you know, their, you know the alumni to, you know, provide only observership to the you know, affiliated hospital. So, so far, you know, getting inpatient hospital, Later, you should have someone in the hospital to contact them. And so these are the hospitals that are providing the observership, like this St. Mary, the Mount Sinai, the Houston Methodist, Texas, also, you know, giving the externship as well as the observership. So look for them. And Indiana Methodist, in the hospital in Indianapolis, they are also giving, but, you know, the chances are, I would say, it's very less because you should have someone to contact them. And Dr. Sajan Chaudhary, I would say this is a, also, they are also giving inpatient observation. This one, the Orlando, Florida, and the Griffin Hospital, the Paid Mount Hospital, Atlanta is can provide, but it's up to your connection and you know, and the people if you if you know someone who in the hospital, the Advent Health is also giving out observation, but this is you know also very limited because they have their affiliated university, so they only accept you the student from the affiliated university. But like if you know someone in the hospital then you can get opportunity from there as well 
and the other like the, this was the inpatient so then is the outpatient so these are the some doctor they are also offering you know the you know, observership this is the outpatient so i would say looking for always look for inpatient but this you can you know get a outpatient as well like these are the you know, most of the doctor i would say like in the houston texas i did in the texas so i know most of them from the houston so houston in houston most of the doctor are providing the outpatient um, the clinic letter but uh, so you can search out on the google or may you know just write the name of doctor and you can get information from there like the houston method is so houston method is because i'm continuously talking about houston method is because i did there so i would say so they have the observer observership opportunity the elective the externship everything but you have to look for and the doctor amin kareem and the other is like the dr khan Dr. Khan, Dr. Zelak Badia is also giving, you know, daily rotation, observership, Dr. Janus Garishia, Dr. Enkoma says, gastroenterologist, Dr. Amar Sabtar is infectious disease, Dr. Lloyd and Dr. Bloom both have, you know, giving the good letter and Dr. Yes from the Belar. So Belar Medical College have many doctors who are providing the, the letter of, you know, the opportunity for a student. So look for, you know, someone in the Belar if you know someone. And this, these are some doctors in the New York, Dr. Hameen, Dr. Kohli, Dr. Sogeman, Dr. Ahmed Valerie in the Chicago, Dr. Dr. Andrew K is also giving the rotation. So you can, you know, search on the Google, the name of that doctor. So how to find it? So most of the things I'll talk about, but I can uh, talk more about that, uh, that as well. Like first ask a friend. So asking friends is a based opportunity because they already did, uh, you know, they know the, the how things work like where you should ask for and some you know a good friend can vouch for you wherever they are rotating now or they can get uh, providing email address or you know the contact information of doctor you know how how the things is going so ask for ask to your friend or on the website the second one is a website so on the website you can do is like uh, just write you know that you can search on the residency explorer that i already talk about or uh, you can just uh, directly you know, search on the google with the name of the specific hospital you ask for email to senior yeah you can ask you know to be a doctor like your doctor or someone senior of the email address of the specific doctor who is you know have the opportunity and then the yeah, all you can do is like if you have got the one opportunity in the hospital, you can ask that doctor to vouch for you or you can ask, you know, to that doctor like whether he knows someone who have the opportunity. This is the good idea as well. Or you can search in the LinkedIn, the Twitter or the Facebook and the WhatsApp group. So these are, you know, the, the things that you can search on your for you and, you know, the USK experience. So I think that's all about the the US key if you have you know any question or your if you want to ask some like specific question just comment below i will love to talk on that topic in the next video